All aboard! Bring it, you board games. Hi everyone, my name is Gly. And I'm Pat. Welcome to All Aboard. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please hit that button for more board game playthroughs. Today we will do a full playthrough of Arkham Horror, the card game. Evil is stirring again in Arkham, and people have been mysteriously disappearing, their half-eaten corpses turning up in the woods. You and your partners have come together to investigate the strange events. We will be playing the first scenario of the Night of the Zealot campaign, The Gathering. This is a heavily story-driven game and there will be spoilers, so if you prefer not to know any of the story then you shouldn't watch this video. Otherwise, come join us at the table and let's play Arkham Horror the card game. Alright, I'm going to be Roland Banks, the Fed. So I'm going to have a Willpower of 3, Intellect of 3, Combat of 4 and Agility of 2. And my special power is Agency, Detective. After you defeat an enemy, discover one clue at your location, limited to once per round. Everything by the book, every I dotted, every T crossed. It worked until now. Okay, and I start off with health of nine and sanity of five. And I will be Wendy Adams, the urchin. I have a willpower of four, intellect of three, combat of one, and agility of four. My special power, I'm a drifter. When you reveal a chaos token, choose and discard one card from your hand, cancel the chaos token, and return it to the bag. Reveal a new chaos token. Limit once per test or ability. That's nice. So I have health of seven and sanity of seven. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's talk about the story so far. Yes. All right. So this is the night of the zealot campaign. The ghoul's hunger. Friday, September 18, 1925. Arkham, Massachusetts. It is the end of a long and abnormally hot summer. The first hints of autumn beckon, but a heavy heat persists, relentless. A silent, unspoken anger grips the town. Tempers are short, and in the last week alone there have been numerous reports of townspeople coming to heated, violent blows with one another over simple misunderstandings. And now, a call from James Hankerson. He claims to have found a dismembered body in his barn. Blaming the weather would be too easy. There is something wrong with this town, and not a whole lot this old soothsayer can do to stop the slide. My auguries indicate a small group of investigators will soon take note of these strange happenings and set forth to make things right. I'll be watching their progress, but I won't be holding my breath. Oh. And we are going to be playing The Gathering. You and your partners have been investigating strange events taking place in your home city of Arkham, Massachusetts. Over the past few weeks, several townspeople have mysteriously gone missing. Recently, their corpses turned up in the woods, savage and half-eaten. The police and newspapers have stated that wild animals are responsible, but you believe there is something else going on. You are gathered together at the lead investigator's home to discuss these bizarre events. So, we are at the lead investigator's home which is me for this scenario so let's see what's going on so the agenda what's going on it's late at night you are holed up in your study researching the bloody disappearances that have been taking place in the region a few hours into your research you hear the sound of strange chanting coming from your parlor down the hall at the same time you hear dirt churning with something worth digging beneath the floor Right, and the act is dropped. As you leap to investigate, the door to your study vanishes before your eyes, leaving behind only solid wall. You're dropped inside your study until you can find another way out. Oh, mm. okay. And so to advance the act, we need two clues per investigator, so we need four, and the agenda will advance when it has three doom tokens. Okay. Okay, so... Uh, we start in the study and this just says you've been investigating the strange events occurring in Arkham for several days now. Your desk is covered in newspaper articles, police reports and witness accounts. Mm. Okay, so let's go to the study. Okay, so first of all we need to draw five cards from our decks. One, two, three, four, five. 
and we'll discard any weaknesses we find here. We'll put them aside for the start. And they'll be shuffled back into the deck. No weaknesses, okay. And we can also take one mulligan. So we can discard as many cards as we like from our starting hand and replace them from the deck and then we'll shuffle up the deck again. And that'll be our starting hand. Okay, so I'm going to mulligan two cards. So I'll put those two aside and get two new ones. Oh, nice. Okay, I got my gun. Okay, for me, I'm going to mulligan one and get a new one. Oh, it's my weakness, Amnesia. So let me get a new card. If you draw a weakness, you should put that aside and get a new card. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay, and then the cards you laid aside will get shuffled back into your deck. Okay. Okay, so we start in the study, so that gets flipped over. The door to your study has vanished. Okay. So we need to put four clue tokens. That's right, so there's two clues per player, and it has a shroud value of two. So the shroud value is just the number you need to beat when you're doing tests against the card. In this case, we'll be doing investigations, so okay. we'll have to beat two. You Which go first, we'll start being the lead investigator. <laughs> <laughs> I'll follow the leader. Uh -huh. Okay, so you want me to go first? Yes. I am going to prepare just in case we get any enemies here. So I'm going to play Roland's point three eight special. And that is going to cost me three resources. So mm. one, two, three. And now that's just a, a weapon, a firearm. And it uses four ammo. So I just put oh. four resources on top of this. And then when I fight, I can get a plus one to my strength. And if there's clues on my location, I also get plus three strength instead. So that's really good. And this attack deals plus one damage. So oh. so if there's an enemy and there's clues, <laughs> I think I can yeah. take care of them. Okay, and two actions left. So you know what? I'm not going to start collecting clues. I'll, collect, I'll try to collect one. So there's a shroud value of two and I've got intellect of three. Uh, would I like to boost that? You know what? I'm going to take the chance. So I need to get minus one minus or better. One. Yeah. Minus, minus one. Minus one. Okay. Good. So mm -hmm. I get a clue. And I have one action left. Uh, I, You know what? I'm going to draw a card because I just want to be prepared in case mm -hmm. anything's coming. Or... No, you know what? No, let me get a clue because if there's a if there's an enemy yeah, there appears be there, it could be dangerous. Yeah. Okay, so I'll try again. Uh, I'm not going to play any cards towards this test. So just to explain what I mean by playing cards towards the test, each of your cards has a number of icons here, and they count as plus one to your stats that you have to your base stats that you have for a test. So, for example, this one has two agility icons, and I have agility of two, uh, so that will give me four. And then I'll draw a chaos token to modify that, and the modified result then is the result that I get. So, I am going to not play a card for this test, and I will draw... Hope to get a minus one or better. Or better. Minus, minus three. Okay, I failed. failed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, no card would have helped me with that anyway. So, okay. so that's my three actions so i just flip over there and wendy yeah. you're up I'm up so i'm going to play cards just to get ready for whatever monstrous things will appear <laughs> yeah it's always good to be prepared early yeah. okay so my first action is i am going to play the baseball bat oh okay yeah. so i don't this is a weapon so when I fight, I get plus two combat. And this is good for me because I only have one combat. Oh, but yeah. it uses two of my hands, so I can't play another hand card. Oh, I see. Okay. And that is two resources. Okay, my second action is I'm going to play the leather coat. It's an item. The coat was not the most fashionable choice, but it did feel warm and reassuring in its bulk. And this means that I can use the leather coat to take uh, two damage instead of taking it out from my um, initial 
health. Okay, mm -hmm. nice. And I still have one which I am going to use to investigate. So All I right. have a uh, three intellect. Let me get the modifier yeah. back or the chaos token. So I have three. We need to be two. I need to have at least minus one, minus two. But I have oh. Wendy's ability, which I can discard one card. Oh, okay. But these cards are very useful. Then we might you might just take the hit if it's a. Uh... Oh no! I can take. I can uh, discard a, a switch blade. Mm -hmm. All right. I will discard the switch blade because it will take some time before I can play this. I am using okay. my two hands to modify it again and get a new chaos token. Good luck. Good luck to me. <laughs> Zero. Nice. Okay, so I get one clue token and it's the end of um, Wendy's turn. All right, so that's the end of the investigator phase. So now the enemy phase, but there's no enemies out there. So now we have the upkeep phase. So our characters get their actions back. Mm -hmm. And we get a resource and a card. Here's one resource for you. Thank you. And a new card. Okay. Oh, mm. that's one that mm. I'd like to get out, actually. Um, hmm. Excellent. Okay, and then uh, we check to make sure that we haven't reached our had limit, yeah. which is eight. So we're okay there now. And back to the mythos phase. So the first part of the mythos phase is to place one doom token on the agenda. Mm. So it's there. Okay, and we get encounter cards each. Okay. Ah. Let's see what we get here. Oh, this is a revelation. So I have to do this. Mm -hmm. Attach to your location. Limit one per location. Attach location gets plus two shroud. Oh no. Oh. After attach location is successfully investigated, discard obscuring fag. Oh no. So yeah. this is attached to the study. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not good. So that's going so, to make it really hard for us yeah. to investigate. That brings this up to a shroud of four. four. And I also got a revelation, and I am now frozen in fear. Ooh. So, terror. Put the frozen in fear into play in your threat area. The first time you perform one of the following actions, move, fight, or evade. Each round, it costs one additional action. And then forced, at the end of your turn, test willpower for three. And if you succeed, you can discard it. So I need to beat this card, or I am stuck with it for the game. <laughs> Right, so we are back to the investigation phase. So, okay. what are we going to do about this? You don't happen to have a flashlight, do you? I don't happen. So, I'll go first. Maybe I'll get a new card. So, my first action is to take a new card. That's good. Yeah, you should have a lot mm -hmm. of cards because you can discard them whenever you fail tests, right? Yeah. The scourge automatically evade a non-elite enemy at your location. Oh. This is a stray cat. Let's do, let me get another card. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to need something to beat these. Uh, this is a hard knocks. But mm -hmm. I think I should uh, play this one because I need this for combat and agility. So my third action, I'm going to play hard knocks. Okay. So spend one resource and you get plus one for combat or plus one for agility. Mm. Okay, that's nice. It's yeah, good to have that good. out. So that's two, and that's my third action. Okay, I'm going to play my physical training. So that's going to cost me two. And this just allows me to spend resources to get uh, extra willpower or to increase my uh, stat for combat. Mm. And now, uh, how are we going to get rid of these uh I have this shroud two wild that i can use next round i don't really just have get, much that yeah, i can put to towards so card. i think i should just draw cards and yeah. see if i can get like a flashlight or something excellent okay so that's my second action and now i don't have the resources to put this into place straight away so well, in, in any case, we might also need that one because I will try to investigate on my next round. Okay. I'll tell you what I do. I will, I'm will. i going to take a resource for my third action. Okay. So mm -hmm. 
We'll be getting one now anyway, but I just I, I'm going to need some because I'll have to spend some for this as well. So that's your last action. Yes. Okay. So now at the end of my turn, I have to do a test three of willpower. And if I succeed, I can discard frozen in fear. So mm -hmm. my willpower is at three. Uh, I'd like to give that a little bit of a boost if possible. Yeah, you need to take that out. Yeah, because yeah. when enemies start coming out, that's going to be difficult. True. I can spend a resource to get plus one to my willpower for that. And I think I will do that mm -hmm. because I'll still be able to play my flashlight the next round. So that's going to give me plus one. Three plus one is four. So a minus one or better. Wish me luck. Yeah. Minus, minus four. four. Oh my God. Wow. Still that there. Fail. That was a miserable fail. Mm hmm. All right, and that's the end of the investigator phase. So the enemy phase, we have no enemies at the moment. Uh, so we are on to the upkeep phase. Oh. So everybody gets their actions back and we get a resource. One resource each. And a card. New card. Deduction. Mm. Oh. All right, and then check your hand limit. So I'm okay, I've got mm. six. You've got okay. less than eight, yeah? Yeah, I get less than eight. Then we move mythos. on to the mythos phase. So there's one doom token here. Oh, it's going to advance soon. We need yeah. to investigate. Oh, oh God, I need to play my uh, <laughs> flashlight. <laughs> and let's get our encounter cards. Yeah. Okay, so this is a revelation. Ancient evils. Omen. Place one doom on the current agenda. This effect can cause the current agenda to advance. Dark forces steer against you. If you do not act quickly, the sinister plot will be fulfilled. Oh, so we have to put one agenda token and the agenda will be advanced. advanced. Okay, so that and we're still in the study. Yeah. yeah, we haven't actually done very much there. Elapsing time. Your house continues to change before your very eyes. The walls have decayed and the ground in many rooms has turned to dirt. It is almost as if you have been transported somewhere else entirely, although every now and again you recognize elements of your former home. The lead investigator must decide. Choose one. Either each investigator discards one card at random from his or her hand, or the lead investigator takes two horror. Oh, I can't afford just, to yeah. take two horror, so yeah. It's I just, hope I don't lose my flashlight here. Yeah. Okay. Should we look the flashlight? Oh, this is the good one. The sneak attack. Deal two damage to an exhausted enemy at your location. Oh, I lose a good card. Oh, no. And okay. I lose my deduction. Oh, I did want that, but it could have been my flashlight, so yeah. I won't complain too much. Mm -hmm. So the new agenda is Rise of the Ghouls. The floor beneath you is giving way and you see a vast network of tunnels twisting into the darkness below. Shapes and silhouettes of strange creatures move swiftly through the tunnels trying to find a way up. You probably don't want to be here when they do. Mm. Yeah, and it needs seven doom to advance the agenda this time. Okay. Okay, and I've got my encounter which is grasping hands. It's a revelation, so it's going to happen straight away, and I have to test agility to try to beat three. For each point, you fail by take one damage. Decaying hands rise up from below and grasp and claw at your ankles. Ooh. Uh, hands coming up through the floor. <laughs> okay, so I need to do a three, and my agility is only two. Do you have a card that can boost it? I do but I kind of want to keep it for if I have to evade an enemy later on so mm -hmm. uh, I'm just going to take the damage if it happens so test three so I need a plus one which is plus very one. unlikely but minus, minus two. two okay uh, it's a good thing I didn't play that card because I would have lost it anyway so minus two mm -hmm. Uh, so that means I take, wow, I take three damage. That was wow. worse than I thought. <laughs> so there we go, okay. three damage, put it on, roll in there. Mm -hmm. So at least I have nine, so I'm, I'm okay yeah. for now. 
and this is gone. Okay, I'm back to investigation. Uh, maybe I should go first. Oh, well, wait, hold on. I've got the flashlight. Okay. Because if I succeed in one test, then the obscuring fog oh, will I see, be taken I see. away. So, so I'll go first in this one. So I'll spend my two resources mm -hmm. and I'll play the flashlight. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this gets three supplies. So that's the batteries, I guess. Mm -hmm. So that's my first action. For my second action, then I am going to use the flashlight. So that gets minus two to the shroud. Mm -hmm. So it brings it back down to two. So what's my intellect? Three. Okay, so that's three minus two. So I need to get minus one. Maybe I should use a card because we really need to beat this, right? Yeah. So I'm going to play Dr. Milan Christopher there for the icon. And that's going to bring me up to four. So four, I need to get minus two or better. Oh, I, hope mm. I, I hope I get lucky here. That's the oh, auto fail. Auto fail. Oof. This is tough. Okay. Well, there's nothing we can do about that. Okay. I have then. one action left. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you still have one. So I'm going to spend another of these resources, and let's see if I can succeed. So I have no more cards to go towards it. So minus one. one. Okay. Oh, that's good. So that succeeds in getting a clue, and it also that's gets rid of the obscuring fog. Mm-hmm. And we put this back, and that's, that's my third action. Oh, but okay. it's good that that's gone anyway. Yeah. So. Okay, so my first action, let me get that last clue. Yeah, so I will investigate. Okay, so I have an intellect of three. I hope I don't get. Oh, plus one. Wow, oh, okay. I get it. <laughs> okay. So that's my first action. My second action is I'm going to play the emergency cash, which is gain three resources. Oh, okay, nice. So I gain three resources, and this is discarded. And my last action is I'm going to get a card. Okay, yeah. so we're not we're not going to progress just yet. I think yeah. that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. uh, so and that's that's it. Okay, so we are on to the enemy phase and there's no enemies, so we're back down to the upkeep phase. So you can reset your actions there. Mm -hmm. And we'll get a resource and a card. A resource and a card. Okay, so, so our mythos phase. phase. So we get one doom token to the agenda. All right. And then we get our encounter cards. Okay, I hope Ooh. we get some monsters. Ancient, oh my god, this is revelation. This happens now. Ancient evils, omen. Place one doom on the current agenda. This effect can cause the current agenda to advance. All right. Another doom. That's the second time we've got yeah. the ancient evils, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, and I got a swarm of rats. It's a hunter. A horde of cruel rats skitters forth in an undulating wave of claws, teeth, and mottled fur. So they are going to engage with me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you think we should um, advance our? Yeah, enemy? I think so. Yeah, I, I think, think we, we should, should advance. because we, if we stay here too yeah. long, the agenda is just going to gather more and more doom. So let's yeah. let's okay. go. We're as prepared as we can be. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So let's take this four clues to advance the act. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. The door on the floor. You notice that the edges of your newly purchased rug are tattered and mud-stained. Finding this odd, you shift the furniture aside and pull back the rug. To your surprise, you see the door leading out of your study. You slowly turn the knob and the door swings open, revealing your hallway below. You jump through the door, landing on your feet on soft dirt. The door to the study slams shut above you. The smell of burning wood fills the narrow hall, intermingled with the scent of rat and decay. Put into play the set-aside hallway, cellar, attic, and parlor. Discard each enemy in the study. Oh. Place each investigator in the hallway. Remove the study from the game. Okay, well the rats are gone, so... Mm -hmm. And then I'm still frozen in fear, unfortunately. 
and we have these four new locations so okay. the study is now out, out of the, the game. game okay so we have the hallway we have the attic the parlor and the cellar okay let's move them a little farther from each other so we have space okay and the investigation phase okay so we're in the hallway now uh, so let me read the flavor text a moment of panic and disorientation strikes as you land upon the floor of the hallway the world spins as if turned on its head Okay, and now because we are there, this flips over. The walls of your house are splattered with mud and your hardwood floor is gone, replaced with a dirt path. Ooh. Oh, I spent a lot for that hardwood <laughs> floor. <laughs> uh, so the hallway has no clues and a shroud value of one. And so now let me just explain how these uh, location tiles work. So if you look on the cards, you'll see that they have these icons. Uh, this, these icons match with icons on other rooms. So rooms with matching icons are connected. So you see that the hallway has this square icon on it. So that means that any of the cards with a square icon is attached to it, which means that it is connected to the cellar, to the attic, and also to the parlor. And you can see their icons down here too and they are not connected to each other. So for every location you want to visit, you have to pass through the hallway. To the hallway, yeah. So the second act is the barrier. A glowing barrier blocks the path to your parlor. As you move toward it, intense heat forces you to back away. Picking up a handful of dirt, you toss it at the barrier and watch in horror as the dirt incinerates. Perhaps there's something in the cellar or attic that can help. Objective. When the round ends, investigators in the hallway may, as a group, spend the requisite number of clues to advance. Oh, okay. Mm. And so how many clues are needed to advance? Six. So oh, three right. per player. Uh, let me go first, if, if I may. <laughs> yeah, I'm frozen in fear frozen, here anyway. It's yeah. going to take me two moves to move. So I'll first play the backstab. Tactic fight. This attack uses agility instead of combat. This attack deals two damage. This is really good for me because oh. I, my agility is four and my combat is one, so that is three resources. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, my second action is I am going to move. I'm going to move to the attic. Oh, okay. Yeah, and um. Hmm. So, the smell of rotten meat assaults your nostrils as you approach the attic stairs. Oh, that doesn't sound so nice. So, because I'm there, it's now flipped over. Forced, after you enter the attic, take one horror. Oh, what kind mm. of horrific things are going on in the attic? I know. The bloody carcass of a malformed beast swings from a meat hook chained to the ceiling. Blood drains slowly from the carcass, dripping into a small barrel. Oh, okay. And this one has a shroud of one, and there's clue two times two players of so four clues. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for my last action, I'm going to investigate. So I have an intellect of three. Uh -huh. And let me see if anything can help me. Maybe I'll play an event later. So, yeah. Okay. So, uh, three, and I need one, so I don't really need a card to help okay, me out. Okay, so minus oh, two or better? Minus two. Oh, you're okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. good. So There's a shroud it. value of just one there, so. Yeah, and that's when the finishing her task for the day. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> good work, Wendy. Yeah. Uh, all right, and so, this frozen in fear is just here to annoy me, right? <laughs> yeah. I can't, I'm, a, I'm afraid an enemy will come out and I won't be able to do anything okay. about it. So I need to get rid of it at the end of my turn. But fortunately, the last card I drew is going to give me extra willpower. Mm -hmm. So at the end of my turn, I'll be able to do that. I should go to the cellar to yeah. search. Because you still have one flashlight. 
and you may want to play another hand and you can't play another uh, hand. Yeah, I can't play anything else until with you that. Get, yeah, until you get that flashlight out. Well, I ha yeah, because I have my two hands yes. full here. Okay, so I'm going to move to the cellar. So that's going to cost two, two. actions, unfortunately, because I'm frozen in fear still. And the cellar, the stairs leading down to your cellar are slick and they glisten with a thin layer of ice. Okay, and when we flip that over, forced, after you enter the cellar, take one damage. So he slipped down those icy <laughs> stairs and got a little bit of damage there. Oh, he's up to four already. I need to see if I can heal somehow. Your cellar seems to have been replaced with an underground network of icy tunnels and caverns. The cold chills you to the core. So this is a tough one. It has a shroud value of four and it has uh, two clues per investigator. So that's four clues on it. Mm. So you, you only have one left. So I am going to use my flashlight to search here. Uh, so there's my resource. So it's got a shroud of two and I have intellect of three. Can I boost that in any way? I cannot. So I need to get a minus one or better. Come on, minus one or better. Minus, minus one. one, okay, nice. Okay, that's my three actions. So at the end of my turn, so hopefully now I can get rid of this frozen in fear. So I have to do a test of three and I have two agility. So I'm going to play guts. And Guts is going to, is a skill card. Stay back. I'll handle this. Uh, so I can get two extra willpower for this. And the two extra willpower is going to give me five. Max one committed per skill test. If it's successful, draw a card. So let me see how that goes. Five. So I need to get minus two or better. Yeah. Anything but the automatic fail should work. Uh, it's a skull. skull. So minus X where X is the number of ghouls at my location, which is zero. We succeed. So long. Farewell. Frozen it's in fear. fear. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, it's good to see that go anyway. So now we are at the enemy in phase. Case. So we've no enemies. So uh, upkeep. So we get our actions back. We mm -hmm. get a new resource and we get a new card. Okay. Ooh, first aid would be nice. A vicious blow. Oh, this is madness. Weakness. Revelation. Take two direct horror and remove all cards in your discard pile from the game. Oh, wow. Okay. So, okay, so I'll take two direct horror. So this is now three. And all my discard pile is out of the game. Oh, well, hopefully mm. we'll complete it before that comes back around. So. Yeah. Then you have four horror left, right? Yeah. So it's discarded. And uh, I, Lethal's face. Yes. Uh, right. So we get one doom on the agenda. And then we get our encounter cards. That's correct. Oh, revelation. Crypt chill. Hazard. Test willpower four. If you fail, choose and discard one asset you control. If you cannot take two damage instead. Mm. Oh, okay. Okay. The supernatural cold threatens to freeze your soul. Okay. So I have a willpower of four, and I'm going to use the unexpected courage to oh. boost my willpower. So now I'm on six. Oh, and, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think but an auto fail should be good yeah. for you then. Oh. I need to. I don't want to take two damage. Minus two is four. I succeed. Oh, yeah. nice. Well, it was good. good that you used that, eh? The yeah. unexpected courage. So this is now out of the game and it's on my discarded. Mm -hmm. All right. And my encounter is also a treachery and it is grasping hands hazards. Mm -hmm. And it's a revelation, so it's going to happen straight away. I have to test for agility and try to beat three. For each point, you fail by take one damage. So my agility is two. I don't really want to take damage, but uh, because I've already got four damage. No, I don't take damage. 
Okay, so grasping hands are trying to get me again. This is the second time. So I am going to play my manual dexterity to try to evade this one. And that's going to give me two more agility. So that's four. Four. Oh, what's that mean? Minus two. two. If there's a ghoul enemy at your location, take one damage, but there isn't. So that's minus two from my four. four. That's two. It's so failed. I take one damage. Yeah. Oh, wow. So God, up to five. So I've only got four left there. This is no, not very good for him. Okay. And that is it. So back to the investigator phase. I'll go first. All right, so we need to take those clues before ghouls come in. So mm, that's right, yeah. Yeah, my first action is to investigate. And zero. Nice. So I have an uh, intellect of three. I get one clue. Okay. Second action is to investigate so again. So minus two or, an, uh, or better is good, yeah. right? Oh, elder sign. Okay. I get one and my third third action is to investigate again. Oh, excellent. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's skull. Okay. So X is the number of ghouls and there's no ghoul in my location. So I still succeed. Well so done. So okay. We need only one clue to... All right. Uh, it's well... the end of Wendy's day. <laughs> <laughs> end of our day. Okay, uh, I am going to maybe search for a clue. Yeah. Uh, so I don't have anything here to help me and all of these are for fighting because I've been worried about yeah. ghouls coming out. So I just have to go on what I have. So that's three. Oh. It's four. It's a shroud value of four. There's nothing. I, can, I can't do that. I, I can't beat four. Mm -hmm. So I'm Don't just going to have course. to draw cards, I think. Mm -hmm. So uh, because I wasted my flashlight because we got the obscuring fog yeah. up in the study, right? Uh, so I'll draw a card. So that's one. Guts again. So that's no help. I'll draw another one. Oh no! Paranoia, basic weakness. Discard all of your resources. Mm. What was that noise? Mm. Wow, it's good that you only have two resources. Yeah. Um, well, at least it's it's gone now. It could have been worse timing, I suppose. Mm -hmm. And my third action is going to be also to draw a card. Oh, so I got a, another gun. Uh, so that's the end of his his day. <laughs> <laughs> And so the enemy phase, but we've no enemies still. Yeah. So we do the upkeep phase. So we reset wake up our again. actions. <laughs> yes, morning. <laughs> and we get a resource and a card. Okay. Okay, another manual dexterity. And... And now is the mythos phase. So we get one doom token. And let's get our encounter card. Okay. Ooh, rotting remains, terror, revelation, test willpower, three, for each point you fail by, take one horror, a sickening display of gore causes you to wretch, you're glad this wasn't you. <laughs> and actually I drew the exact same card. Oh, <laughs> you drew the exact, yeah. okay, so you go ahead. I'll go ahead. All right, so I have a willpower of four and I have no card to boost that. Hmm. Oh. Okay, so let me see my luck. So I need three. So four, I only need... I need minus one or better. Those and things are pretty nasty. Minus two. So what I cannot take any terror. So okay. what I'll do is I am going to play my lucky, which is a fortune. Fast play when you would fail a skill test. Get plus two to your skill value for that test. So I have four willpower plus two is six. Minus two is four. Okay, so yeah. that's it. Yeah, four. I get four because I only need three. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which is one resource. So here's my payment. 
So then now I beat the rotting ring. Nice. Right, so well done. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so go. it is me, and I have the same thing. I've got some rotten remains to deal with here. <laughs> And so I need to test my willpower and I have willpower of three and I'm going to play guts. So stay back, I'll handle this. <laughs> <laughs> Very confident. Huh? Oh yeah, yeah, he's got guts. Stand back. <laughs> uh, okay, so if I succeed in this test, I'll get to draw a card, which is cool. And so I get two plus three is five. So a minus two or better and I get... Zero. Zero! Okay, so Good. I get to draw a card. This is discarded. And this the rotten out. remains is out of my life. <laughs> mm. okay. So, after the mythos is the investigation phase. Yes. Okay, so let's see. What do we need to do? We need to get clues up here. There's four doom tokens now, so we need to advance our um, act soon. Five, Should I go help you in... I think you should. I don't think there's anything left to do in the attic anyway. Mm -hmm. So you might but as well start moving back towards. You can come and help. But I have Leo the Luca that I want to play first. So oh, if you've got cards you want to get out, certainly you can do yeah, that. Yeah, just so I, I w if there's any, you know, go later. All right, so my first action is I'm going to get one resource. And my second is I'm going to play Leia de Luca, ally, criminal. You may take an additional action during your turn. I was Ooh. born in Mississippi, Louisiana. Just sounded better. Mm. <laughs> and he can take two damage and two horror. Oh, that's nice. And he can absorb this goes that. six, so two, four, six resources, and we're broke. <laughs> <laughs> You have so, a lot of yeah. resources though. That so nice. that's my second action. And my third action is I'm going to go to the cellar to help you out. Oh, okay. So you're going to take one damage for that. Yeah. So so I'm going to use the the leather coat. Oh, nice. To okay. take the damage. So it's down to one. But because I played Leia de Luca, I have one additional action in my turn. Okay. So I'm going to try to investigate, but I have no no card to boost it, but I have Wendy Adams Oh, skills. your special ability, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, so... Uh, best of luck, mm -hmm. hopefully. We just need one more clue from here, and yeah. then we can advance the agenda. So four, right? And I've got a, a three. So how could that be? I can't do that. Oh, yeah, you'd have to get the plus one. Or the elder sign. Yeah, the plus. Even the, the elder sign wouldn't give you. Yeah, it, right? it's plus here. The elder sign is. Oh, okay. Uh, but I'll just take you my chances. Might, maybe maybe you can draw a card because it, oh, it'll true. just waste a move. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so. True, true. So I'll just draw a card for that. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. And that's the end of my turn. Okay, so I'm the same. I need to draw cards as well. So I'll draw one here. So I've got a research librarian, which surprisingly doesn't help me at all with my search. I'm going to play the emergency cash. Mm -hmm. You can never be too prepared. <laughs> and that allows me to gain three resources. That's good. So at least the card that makes me discard them all is gone now. Yeah. And that's my second action. And then my third, I just need to keep drawing cards because we need help with this. Oh, and it's my weakness. Oh, my. Yeah, it's a oh cover up. So put cover up. Oh, this is really bad. Mm -hmm. Put cover up into play in your threat area with three clues on it. Mm -hmm. When you would discover one or more clues at your location, Discard that many clues from cover up instead. Mm. And when the game ends, if there are any clues on cover up, you suffer one mental trauma. Oh. So that means that I can't actually get any of the clues from the seller. And so this won't affect, I'll just explain what this uh, mental trauma means. So when you play this game in campaign mode, suffering a mental trauma means that your base value. Uh, for mental health or for your sanity will be reduced by one 
for the rest of the campaign. So it is a pretty difficult yeah. one to deal with, but it won't affect us because we're just doing a standalone mission here. Uh, but it will affect us in trying to get the in clues here. To so. the clues. Yeah, true. Okay, mm -hmm. so that was my third action, right? Mm -hmm. And so that's the end of Roland Banks's turn. So we are now on to the enemy phase. Enemy phase. And we still have no enemies. <laughs> okay, and upkeep. Upkeep. Mm -hmm. So flip our characters back over and we get our resource and we get our new card. Mm -hmm. So we just leave those there where they can be seen. New card. New card. Oh, nice. Oh, I get the flashlight. Oh, yeah. excellent. Okay. So good. I need to get one resource for my action later. Are you still an eight? Your hand? Yes. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because I played my emergency cash, and of course my weakness came out. So mm -hmm. it's not my hand. Okay. But I actually got a, an ally that I really like, so I'm pretty pretty happy about that. And so that's uh, the end of the upkeep phase, and so we're on to mythos phase. So it's now at five, two more. Oh, two and more, and then advance. something nasty is definitely going to happen, right? So I think we need to get the last clue before that event. Yeah, we need to get that quickly. I hope we don't get anything nasty here. Okay, so our encounter cards. Encounter cards. Oh, Hunter. No. Ooh. Swarm of rats. Oh, okay, they're not through. Too yeah. Bad. A horde of cruel rats skitters forth in an undulating wave of closed teeth and mottled fur. Oh, Whoa. okay. And mine is Dissonant Voices, which is a revelation. And it goes into my threat area and I can't play any assets or events and discard at the end of the round. So that mm. is that. So. Uh, investigation phase. Investigation phase is back, so I think that you should go first and see yeah. if you can get those clues. Should I take care of this rats now, or should I get the clues? Yes, you'll have to take care of the rats, or they're going to hit you. Uh, okay, my first action is the swarm of rats, so let me attack them. Oh, I think I made a mistake here. I played the event earlier, which I should use only one time, but I haven't used it, so... Oh, okay. Yeah, I play it like an asset I overlooked. So let me just remove it from my play area. Oh, you might as well get your three resources back for that. So Yeah, so I get my three resources back because I haven't used it anyway. Okay. And it comes back to my hand. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to attack the swarm rats and I have a combat of one plus two from the baseball bat. Oh, okay. So minus mm -hmm. two are better. Yeah, let's see. Ooh, oh, cool. So that's so minus, uh, minus. Minus oh, nothing. Not, yeah, there's yeah, no minus ghouls nothing. there. They're yeah, not yeah. ghouls. So you're safe. So you you safe. take them out. Yeah, take them out. <laughs> now they're out. And uh, my second action is I'm going to investigate. So I have an intellect of three, and I'm going to use the flashlight to boost my um, intellect so because I cannot play it I I am using my two hands so okay. I have three plus one is four and I need to get four and that you couldn't use that to decrease the shroud value no because I'm using my two hands oh, on the that's baseball right. so I cannot use that and I don't oh. want to discard my baseball just yet because yeah. that's like plus two and I only have a combat of one. Right, right. No, that makes helpful, sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I hope you get it. Well, you got two and, attempts at it. <laughs> and pray to God that I get zero. Ooh. Oh, the there's skull. No gold. Oh, that's it. <laughs> so I get three plus one is four and I get the clue. Nice. Oh, excellent. Oh. Okay. So now we have six clues. So that's my uh, second action. Okay. The rats are the first one, right? Yep. Second action. My third action is I'm going to get a card. I think that's all I can do. Well, you could move to the hallway so we can advance it oh, next yeah. time. But... So anyway, I have four actions because of Leo De Luca. Oh, nice. Okay. So that's my third action. And my fourth action is to get back to the hallway. Oh, wow. Okay. And just sit in the hallway. <laughs> have a rest. <laughs> it's not as nice as it used to be, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have to contact my decorator again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
So that's fourth because of Leo De Luca. Okay, excellent. That's a very useful card. That. Yeah. Um, all right, and it is my turn now. Just want to explain what this victory one means. So there's still two clues left on this card. Uh, if we were doing a campaign, this would have been worth an experience point at the end, only if we got all of the clues off the card. Yeah. But once again, this is a standalone scenario, so that doesn't affect us here. So I'm not going to stay here yeah, looking true. for clues. And also my dissonant voices are still in play here, so I can't play any assets or events this time, which is unfortunate because I would like mm -hmm. to. I think you just move to the hallway and let's Yeah, keep I'll come clues. down there for yeah. one. Mm -hmm. And for my other two actions, now I can't play assets or events, so these cards are useless to me. Three, four, five, six, seven. And I don't really want to draw another card because I'll have to discard one. Do you like all the cards that you have? You can discard yeah, the one that you get anyway. Kind of. Well, I tell you, I might get rid of... Oh, but that's right. Uh... I will. I'll I'll draw a card. So so that's one action. I'll draw a card. Oh, it's an event. I can't play it. So I've eight cards now. Maybe uh, you can get resource for your last. I just picked up uh, an emergency <laughs> cash, so I'm going to have a lot of resources in a minute. Um. Hmm. You know what? I'm just going to take another card. I'll have to discard some at the upkeep phase, but. Oh. Okay. I can, well, it's no use to me now, so that's that's good. I wish I'd gotten this earlier, but uh, I could have just discovered a clue for free <laughs> at my oh. location. Okay, so that's uh, Roland's turn done. Mm -hmm. And so the enemy phase, once again, we've got no enemies. enemies. And at the end of the round, I can discard these distant voices. Those voices in my head were stopping yeah. me from playing any <laughs> events. <laughs> and uh, so we're on to upkeep phase. Okay. So, wake up. Yep, and we get a resource and... One resource each. Thank you. And a card. Let's get a new card. Okay, and now we have to discard down to eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have to get rid of two. Well... I, I'm, I'm still at five, so I'm okay. All right, okay, so I am going to get rid of my magnifying glass and I think I will get rid of this working hunch. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the mythos phase. And the mythos phase. Okay, we okay. don't have enemy yet, so mythos phase, so there's one uh, doom token. Okay, Do you think we six. should advance the... Well, let's see. Uh, we'll draw we our encounters enough. first. Okay. Let's get our encounters. Ghoul. Oh, I got a ravenous wow. ghoul as well. Flesh eater, humanoid, monster, ghoul. is spawned at the attic. Oh, okay. That's all right. That doesn't affect us. A monstrous creature feeds from the rotting carcass in the attic. Oh, mm. so, so he's up here I in sorry. the attic, yeah. So he goes here in the attic. Well, we're, we're finished in the attic anyway. There's nothing we're else for us to do yeah. there, so he can stay feeding there. away on that thing. Yeah. <laughs> you have about yours? Yeah, I got a ravenous ghoul. The sight of the thing raised the question, do we eat to live or do we live to eat? Oh. <laughs> so it is a ghoul and it preys on the lowest remaining health, which is me, I believe. I've got four health remaining. Yeah, We've I got guess seven, seven, right? Okay, so he's going to prey on me, so he comes here, and we are back to the investigation phase. Yeah, you should attack that. Yeah, I will. Now, I've been waiting for an attack all <laughs> again because uh, I have weapons all set out for it. So he has a strength of three. He's got three combat and he's got three health and mm -hmm. three agility. Now, I don't want to evade him because yeah, I want him out of here. <laughs> so I'm going to attack him. Mm -hmm. And I have an attack of four to his three and I can use an ammo. Mm -hmm. So I'll do that. Uh, so that gives me a plus one for the attack. And if there is any clues on the area, which there are not, I would have gotten plus three but it will deal plus one damage so I can take 
too often for this if I'm successful. Uh, so what am I at? So that's uh, four and four. one is five minus three. So plus two. Okay. I'll, I'll you can get another attack from here. I can spend a resource to, to get. I might as well do that. Yeah, right? just to make sure that you win. The yeah, because I've lots of resource. Oh, but no, uh, because I'm going to. No, I'm going to take the yeah. I'm going to take the chance on that. I don't want to spend a resource yet for my physical training because even though I have lots of resources, I actually want to play an expensive card in a minute. So, so. you get four plus one, so you get five. Yeah, uh, minus three, so I needed minus two zero. zero. Okay. Yeah, so, so he takes two damage because of my thirty-eight special. And for my second action, I will attack him again. Mm -hmm. Now, this time, I'm not going to use my gun because he only has one health, but I will spend a resource mm -hmm. to increase again. So that brings me up to uh, five. five again. Mm -hmm. And so minus two Oh, but two that's the better. same if you use one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I can use this on a different enemy to take two health from them, so. Okay, yeah, two. Skull. And that's minus x, where x is the number of ghouls, so that's one, so that's a minus one. So it's a success. Successful. And that gives him three, and yes. that's him dead. Okay. He's dead. And now, uh, I have my... After you defeat an enemy, discover one clue at your location, limit once per round. But there's no clues at my location, location, so I don't get one of those. So that's how many actions already? Uh, so that's two actions, I believe. I attacked him twice. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't think we should advance this until we have actions left. But what do you think? We can advance it now. I have one action left. You have one. Okay. If that's the case, that's fine. I will just get cards soon. Later. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm going to play the beat cop. Mm -hmm. So that's my ally. And it's going to cost four resources. One, two, three, four. And, and that's your last action, no? That's my final action. Let me just do this. So, the beat cop is an ally, please. So I get plus one combat. And then for... Uh, if I want, I can discard the beat cop to deal one damage to an enemy at my location. But he can take two horror and two damage for me. So, yeah. that's good. Okay, so it's my go. I'm going to draw a card. Ooh, overpower... This is good. That's my first action. I can take four actions because of my ally, That's Leia so De Luca. Right. So second action, I draw another card. The opportunist. Okay. My third is I'm going to get a resource. And my fourth is I'm going to get another card. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oof. Oh, okay. So you'll have to discard one during the yeah. upkeep phase. Okay, and that's the end of Wendy's day. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so enemy phase, and we just took care of our enemy. Mm -hmm. So next we have the upkeep phase. So we reset, reset. our actions. We got to have a resource and, and a card. So I have to discard one card. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm just safe okay so i'll discard my scavenging mm -hmm. oh and now some nasty stuff is going to happen uh mythos phase all right so mythos phase so that is seven two four six seven so okay. they are going to advance oh. all right the doom token okay and the tunnels below a feral beast, roughly humanoid with a canine cast and hooves for feet, tears through the ground in front of you. Below the floor, you can see vast tunnels beneath your house. Fiendish howling echoes from deep within the underground caverns. Shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. Oh no. Discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a ghoul enemy is discarded. The lead investigator draws that enemy. There's a lot oh. of disadvantages to being this lead investigator. <laughs> okay, uh, so, so let's get this... shuffled back into the encounter pile. So we're going to draw a nasty ghoul. Mm -hmm. Which will be attached to you. Yeah, but I've got plenty of firepower here, so hopefully I can take care of him. And my ally cop here can take some damage too. 
And so now discard cards until I come across a ghoul, right? Yeah. Okay. Ghoul. Ooh, first card. First. <laughs> At least it's not too strong. So that's a ghoul minion. Humanoid. Monster. Ghoul. It was a colossal and nameless blasphemy with glaring red eyes and it held in bony claws a thing that had been a man gnawing at the head as a child nibbles at a stick of candy. Ooh, that's nasty. Okay, well, I think I can, I can handle him anyway. And the next part of the agenda is they're getting out. You hear a crazed howl outside and suddenly all the creatures turn their attention to that sound. They rush to escape the house, breaking down doors and clawing at everything in their way. At the end of the enemy phase, each unengaged ghoul enemy moves one location towards the parlor. At another forced action, at the end of the round, place one doom on this agenda for each ghoul enemy in the hallway or parlor. Oh, we need so to kill that's them. That's going to be nasty. Yeah, we have to kill those ghouls. So we uh, draw our encounter cards now. Oh. oh god, I hope we don't get another... <laughs> Nasty ghoul. Treachery, frozen in fear. Terror, this is a oh, revelation. Yeah. Put frozen in fear into play in your threat area. The first time you perform one of the following actions, move, fight, or evade, each round it costs one additional action. Forced, at the end of your turn, test three willpower. If you succeed, discard frozen in fear. Hmm. Oh, that's nasty. I had yeah. that there a while ago. It's not good. It's good that I have Leia the Luca that adds one more action, so... Okay, and my encounter is Ancient Evils. Revelation, place one doom on the current agenda. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here's one doom. Dark forces stir against you. If you do not act quickly, a sinister plot will be fulfilled. Okay, so that's done. First, we need to advance our hand. Yes, let's I think do that. we're holding on to it too long now. And we are indeed. Yeah, okay. The goals are coming out. So I have one clue. And I've got five. Okay. So we have six clues. All right. Using the barrel from the attic, you carry ice and snow from the cellar and hurl it at the barrier. The barrier sparks and shudders as it consumes the ice then hisses and fades out of existence. The barrier blocking passage into the parlor has vanished. Reveal the parlor. Oh, okay. So let's reveal the parlor. Put the set aside Lita Chandler into play in the parlor. Spawn the set aside Ghoul Priest in the hallway. Oh, nasty. Oh. Okay. So now Lita Chandler in the parlor. Yeah. will have the ghoul priest so the ghoul priest is a humanoid monster ghoul elite and its prey is the highest combat so that's me okay, and he's yeah. a hunter and retaliates so if I attack him and miss he will hit back a figure in red robes wearing a bone mask it gibbers and snarls before leaping to attack okay so he's Whoa. nasty and then do you want to read the next uh, act. Okay, the next act. What have you done? A woman with a torch stands in your parlor, a glimmer of hatred in her eyes. What have you done to my barrier? She screams furious. Before you can answer, a ghastly voice sounds to you, and a creature wearing robes and a deer skull mask tears through the wall, advancing toward you. Objective. If the ghoul priest is defeated, advance. Oh, okay. Mm, we need to defeat the ghoul. So he takes two horror and two damage off you if he attacks, so we definitely don't want that. I can survive two attacks. No, I can survive one attack and the second one will kill me. I will I will help you because we but I have to, And I have the police yeah. as well. Okay. So I think we just go crazy on yeah, this guy. Yeah, let's just go crazy on this guy. So maybe I'll go first and attack this guy that's yeah. attached to me. I'm going to attack with... Oh, I have the ghoul minion as well. So he's he's attached to me here. Let me just take the flashlight off because... Yeah. I can just discard this. I'm not mm -hmm. going to get any batteries for it anyway. So let me put the ghoul priest here in my threat area. And... This guy, should I take him out? Because he's going to hit me as well. My actions, I will help hit the ghoul. So I think take him out first. 
Okay, so I'm going to attack the ghoul minion, so I need to take two from him, so I'm going to shoot. So uh, the, the ghoul priest has 10 health. That's wow. pretty difficult. Five times the number of players. So I think I'll use my, my 38 special. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, going to be one ammo. So I've got four plus one is five. I won't spend a resource here because yeah. I might need it. Plus one is six. Okay. Okay, so you should be able to with take six, him yeah. out. And you have a plus one damage, so he'll be out by if you're yeah, successful. Yeah, this will take him out. So it's only the auto fail, I think, can... I hope not. Minus, minus one. one. Okay, I can do that. So he it's takes two damage and he is dead. out. That's your first action. Yep. Second. And now I'm going to attack this ghoul priest. Yeah. So I'm going to use another bullet. Uh, so that's... So you have... That's four plus one is five. What's his strength is four. So five and one is six for this guy. So minus two are better. Like I can spend yeah. a resource to get plus one, but I don't no, think... No, you only have two resources. Yeah, I might need it when I run out of bullets. Okay. So... Um, Please get a good one. Minus four. Wow. Minus uh, four. So that means... That's my second action. So n nothing happens from there. I didn't do him any damage. But he, he retaliates. Oh, that's right. He's going to retaliate. So that's your... He's cut. going to hit me with two of each, right? Yeah. So I'll put one damage on me and one on the cop and one sanity on each of us as well. Oh, that's... He's strong. If we don't take care of him soon, uh, you're going to have to engage him or else I'm dead, I think. Yeah, okay. I have one more attack left, okay. right? One more move. So let me see how that goes. So I'm going to spend my bullet, mm -hmm. and that's plus one, so five, and one for the big cup is six. Cool, so that's only one. Okay, so six it's minus one is five. five. Okay, so yeah, that was a skull. And, and you have so, a plus one there. So he gets hit for two. Yeah. Yeah, so he's got eight more, okay. and that's my three actions. So my first action, I need to engage him to me, or else you're dead, right? You're dead on his next attack on the... On the you can take seven and seven, right? Yeah, so... Uh, no, I can take... Uh, oh, you've four. got... Yeah. But he can take... I don't want to kill this one because I have an extra... The, an extra action, yeah. Action. Should I just attack him? Well, if you miss, then I take the hit. All right, so first I'll engage him. Okay, so he's... Okay, thank you. Oh, I can't play because of this, right? Oh, you've got your frozen in fear. Frozen oh. in fear means the first time you perform one of the following actions, which is move, fight, or evade, each round it costs one additional action. Oh, okay. Okay. So, so you have four, so yeah. you're just back to normal now then. Yeah. So let me... If one is engage him okay all right and the next is I will attack him so I'm going to use my backstab event which uh, this attack uses agility instead of uh, combat this attack deals plus two damage oh, I really so hope you get him. that is four plus I'm going to spend one resource to get an additional agility and so that's, that's from your hard knocks. Yeah, right? that's from my hard knocks. So that's five. And I'm going to play my straight cut as well for additional boost. Oh, nice. So that's one, two, plus four is six. Whoa. Okay, good luck. So minus two or better? Minus two. I oh, hit you hit him. Okay, excellent. But I have a plus two here. So that's three damage. Okay, excellent. So that brings him up to five. Yeah. And now this are discarded oh that was a great move that was brilliant <laughs> okay so i have one last uh, action because of leo de luca so i'm going to attack the gold priest again so i have the baseball but i have one 
combat plus the baseball bat is plus two so that's three and i'm going to use hard knocks so one resource three and then that's uh four uh, just a second have i paid the backstab earlier i should the, when I use the back sub, I should pay three well, resources. You have to pay three resources. Okay, yeah. so three resources. So that's my payment for the back sub, and I already used one here. Okay. Okay, so two, three, four, and I'm going to use my overpower to boost that one. So that's six. Oh, give me. So minus two or better. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's okay. Sure. That's okay. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, five. that's minus one because yeah. it's a uh, one goal at the location. And because of this, this attack deals plus one damage. So he he gets two. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is out, and that's my last. Uh, that's my last. So we need to hit him for three more. Okay. Yeah. Well. And that's the end of the day for Wednesday. Okay, and so that's the end of the investigation phase. Mm -hmm. So the enemy phase, uh, it's just the ghoul priest that's left. Oh, just one second. Before that, I have to do Oh, do your frozen and fear. Oh, God, frozen I really hope you can yeah. get rid of that. Force, at the end of your turn, test uh, willpower three. If you succeed, discard frozen in fear. So I have a willpower of four, and I will use my cunning destruction, because I can't afford it anyway, for additional... A willpower so four five mm -hmm. and I need three minus one so okay I get rid of uh, frozen fear excellent excellent god that's mm -hmm. such a horrible card yeah so this is out of game now okay all right now is the enemy phase okay so okay. Uh, the enemy phase means he is going to attack you you're going to get hit with two damage and two horror okay so to horror, I will place one to Leo De Luca, and I will place one on me, and two damage. So I will put the two damage. Take one. One in Leo and one in me. Yeah. Oh no! I will put the damage. You on might as well get rid of your coat, yeah. <laughs> leather coat, and then this is now out. Now it's the upkeep phase. That's correct. Yes. Okay. So our people flip over. Mm -hmm. And we get a resource and a card. A knife, okay. Oh, I get a knife too. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, and the mythos phase. So place yeah. one doom on the agenda. Okay. And An then encounter. we get encounter cards. Right. Oh, God, this is very strong. Icy ghoul. Oh, humanoid monster ghoul spawn at the cellar. It's okay. Oh, okay. Inside the nice. tunnels beneath the house, a massive beast stares its way out of the ice. It is covered in a thick layer of frost. Its breath visible in the bitter cold. So I see ghoul. Okay. In the cellar. Okay. Spawn at the cellar. Okay, and I got more rotting remains. Uh, so I have to do a test of willpower and I have to beat a three and for each point I fail I take one horror. Uh, but I'm okay for horror, I can take four more horror. So a sickening display of gore causes you to retch. You're glad this wasn't you. Yeah. Okay, so a uh, willpower test then. I, I'm not going to use that for sure. I just have to Oh, I have to take this. So three. So what's my willpower is three as well. Uh, do you have any willpower cards? Will no, I don't have. Will I have wild, but I'm gonna use this to attack the. Bull no, later. I tell you because at the end of this go, you can take three damage, right? Three damage. Yeah, I can take three damage. Okay. But I my horror is very low. But let me let me explain what I can do here. I've got dynamite, right? So I can, I'm going to go to a connecting location and deal three damage to each enemy and each investor, uh, investigator at the chosen location. So I'll get out of there because I can't take it and I'm going to go to uh, where but is there no enemies. Also, also remember that there is an auto fail, which when they only have that. I don't need to, I don't need to draw a card for this. It's not a skill test. Oh, it's not a skill yeah. test. So I can just deal three damage to everything. 
Okay. All I need to do is to be able to get somewhere where there's no one. Uh, so I can go to the parlor. Parlor, okay. And then I'll throw back in the dynamite. Mm hmm. And that deals three damage automatically, which okay. kills him and ends the. Oh, then you can. Attack. I can give. Yeah, you... I just need to make sure that I survive this, okay. which I should be able to actually, because I can take one horror. Like I can't see myself losing more than three. Actually, I can just take it. No, I'll give you. I can give you um two wild. Oh, okay. Okay. So just to explain, an investigator at the same location as you can also play one and only one card with the to help you with the icons that are on that so uh, I'll give you the Wendy addicts. is going to give me her unexpected, unexpected courage, courage here okay so that gives me two more willpower mm -hmm. and I have three so that brings me up to five mm -hmm. and the test is three so minus, minus one. one okay so I don't fail so it's just discarded okay and thank you for discarded. your help there you're yeah. very much welcome. We're a team here. <laughs> and, I won't and, let you die. And and to reward you for that, I'm going to throw some dynamite at you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh. sorry about that. It's not aimed at you in particular, but... Uh, this is a special dynamite, so even if we're at the same place with a monster... Oh, no, I have yeah. to, I know, I'm getting out of there. <laughs> I'm running and throwing it back in. <laughs> I, it, it, it's going to hit you, it is, but uh, but fortunately you can survive it. I'll, I'll carry you out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's, uh, that's the end of the encounter. So back to the investigator's face. So let's see. I Maybe I'll just get out as well. Yeah, let's see, let's see if you can uh, escape from first. there. So, okay, so I'll go first. So maybe you should evade. Elusive tactic, fast. Play only during your turn. Disengage from each enemy engaged with you and move to a revealed location with no enemies. Which I can go to the parlor. No, but if you do that, that'll mean that the the ghoul priest will engage with me automatically and then I won't be able to do this move. Okay. Then... Evade, evade is the only thing I think that'll be of okay. use. But I can give you two... To evade? To oh, evade, okay. yeah. All right, so let's do that. So I have four... How much is his power for evade? Four. four okay. I have four, and I can use one resource for another agility. It's five. Five. I'll and give then, you two. There's oh, seven. So that's seven. Oh, I can do this. And <laughs> she's and she's Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> that's why she can. Seven. Chang minus one. Six. Nice. Okay. I evade him. So this gets discarded over here. Okay, so he's now exhausted. Excellent. So he's not going to do anything. So that's one action. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll move to the parlor. Okay, two. And then my rest, I'm just going to get some. And get a resource. Yeah, resources. Okay. Three, four because of the Luca. Okay, and he goes back to the hallway mm -hmm. and he's exhausted there. Poor okay. guy. <laughs> so you evaded him, he got exhausted. Like he yeah. must be just running around in circles. <laughs> <laughs> he's true, wrecked true. after it. <laughs> Okay, that's the end of your turn? Yeah, that's the end of my turn, so it's now goodbye today. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Roland Banks is going to move down here to that's meet one. you. Okay, and then for my second action, I am going to play the emergency cash. Uh, you can never be too prepared. So that's going to give me three resources. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's discarded. And now, my final action will be a dynamite blast. So that costs five resources. Oh. Two, three, four, five. Tactic. Choose either your location or a connecting location. So I choose the hallway. Mm -hmm. Deal three damage to each enemy and to each investigator at the chosen location. So that's three. That gives a total of ten. So the ghoul priest is... And that would have been two victory points if, if we had been yeah. playing com campaign mode. True, true. And it's the end of your day. Yep, yeah, and that uh, advances the uh, the act, oh. I believe. And defending the home. When the robed creature falls, the fiend swarm burrows back into the ground, and the chaos of the house quiets. But the stranger in your parlor doesn't seem relieved. You broke my seal that was set to trap the ghouls within. She raises her torch. Now we must take more direct measures and burn this hell pit to the ground. 
the lead investigator must decide. Choose one. It was never much of a home. Burn it down. This hell pit is my home. No way are we burning it. Okay, well, I think There's that... There's no good memories. <laughs> Roland Bank could never, ever go back to this house after all Me. that's happened there. You know? Nor is Wendy Adams. Yeah, yeah, like, uh, it's not it's not the best situation to invite guests over to it, yeah. you know? So, let's burn it. Burn it! Okay, so... You nod and allow the red-haired woman to set the walls and floor of your house ablaze. The fire spreads quickly and you run out the front door to avoid being caught in the inferno. From the sidewalk, you watch as everything you own is consumed by flames. Come with me, the woman says. You must be told of the threat that lurks below. Alone we are surely doomed, but together we can stop it. Roland was running low on hell, so we decided that Wendy would engage with the ghoul priest. She was able to take the hits, and with the backstab, she was able to give a lot of hits too. She was low on combat, but her agility stat was 4, so it was good that she was able to fight with agility. In Arkham Horror, the card game, things can get real rough very quickly, so before you have any enemies to deal with, it is good if you can get some of your assets into play. If a monster is engaged with you, he'll get an attack of opportunity if you try to play the cards then. Getting items and allies out to absorb hits is very helpful. When this leather coat took 2 damage and Leia the Luca had a sanity and health of 2 each, Leia also gave an extra action each round, so it was good to get him out. Sometimes you are better off evading the enemies rather than fighting them. Most of the time it takes a few actions to kill them, so if you have all the clues on a location where the monster just run away and use your actions where they are more needed. When this ability to discard a card to get a different chaos token after failing a test is excellent. In this game, lots of things can go wrong and it is nice to get a second chance. When taking a test, I try to have at least a plus two advantage before drawing the chaos token. You need to be very unlucky to fail in this case. Having said that, unlucky is not a rare state in Arkham Horror. So that was Arkham Horror, the card game, and we hope you guys enjoyed our playthrough. How do you like to set up your deck in this game? Let us know your best tips in the comments below. If you liked what you saw, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more board game content. And also don't forget to click on the notification bell. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again on the next video. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.